Is what it is. We read yesterday that the crater house that she did in the streamer house, they actually sponsored a rehab uh, facility for her. Like, That's they good. got her That's rehab. Good. What? OTV got me a rehab facility. Defamation lawsuit incoming. I mean, that's an actual lie. For starters, <laughs> if I ever did have a drug addiction, I would pay for my own rehab. OTV don't need to got me. I got me. But the absurdity of that statement is absolutely unbelievable. Do you know how well documented me going to rehab would have been if it was ever true? It's fucking insane. The only thing I need rehab for is Riot Games, League of Legends, Valorant, TFT, anything else they come out with. That shit is stronger than any cocaine I've never even done, okay? Like, I can't believe I just heard them say that. OTV could put me in a rehab? What? And the thing is, like, these dudes are grown, I think. Like, they look like at least 20, 20 something, right? There's no way you're stupid enough to believe that. They're, like, I, I'm giving you more benefit of the doubt than I owe you. <laughs> Truly. You're saying the dumbest, least credible things. But I still see a glimmer in your eye where you're like, ah, we're just playing it up for the camera. I hope. Because if you believe that off of one dodgy article when it's very clear, it's like not real. And there's countless other places you can see where it's not real. Then that's just embarrassing on your part. I'm going to say it. Pokey haters to this degree are equivalent to flat earthers. I said it. That's so she's not I said it, period. Continue. She's not doing drugs anymore. <laughs> no, Clearly. no. She's Good. only uh, saying the N-word and getting raided on Twitch. Yeah. But I'm not. I did that when I was 17. Or younger. I don't even know. I was a minor, uh, but I'd love to see you discuss some of the grown men in uh, the video gaming industry who have said it while being very grown. Whereas me, you know, almost a decade ago or something, haven't said it since. Why? Because that's what happens when you go from a minor to an adult. You grow, you understand the things that are right or wrong, and then you ideally don't do the things that you understand are wrong. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'm really looking forward to your next video where ideally you will discuss these things because you seem to care about them so much, right? These dudes really said, yeah, she still says the N word and she does drug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know where that laugh came from. I just imagined them laughing and that's what the fuck they sounded like yeah, to me. I mean, let, 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 Let's, let's be honest here. Oh. Let's give, let's give it a benefit of the doubt. Pokemon's come along. Oh, yeah, like you have for the last six minutes, huh? Yes. <laughs> I have not. I've never. The fact that I've never seen this side of her for this long. Like, there's also this screen from 2015. I can't read that, though. At Quora, Haps, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that's what, what, what is Haps, my nigga? Like, what? Like, what's happening? It was her birthday. You know Nobody. <laughs> it was 2015, man. You're worried about the haps and not the N-word part? <laughs> like, you're more worried, worried about the haps. Let's be honest here, bro. Dude, that's why I've apologized for these things so many times. I'm like, I'm sorry. And I stopped. Along with the rest of the world. I actually feel like the fact that I've apologized about this, at least I've seen this in my friend group. Some people were like, some people were like, don't. Yeah, same. Like, they relate to the fact that that's something that they used to do and also stopped doing. Because we don't actually want to be offensive. 
or racist or any of the above. <laughs> Wait, did Justin Bieber do that in 2015 too? 2015 was a different era of facts. But either way, you apologize. And if someone like uh, doesn't want to uh, accept my apology, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Just don't lie on my name. Thank you very much. She ain't the only <laughs> non-black person that said the N-word now. Let's just talk about who the fuck says haps. Okay, but is she, is she black, though? Yeah, there's, no, no, of there's course controversy not. that people say that she's black. No, but she's African. It's interesting. Like, some of the comments are claiming that she's African so she can say the word. Gideon even tweeted out comments from her simps. Some even saying, I like Gideon, but let's be honest, you started it. Like, this bitch was legit born in Africa, and she had African and Arab descent. You gotta educate yourself. So what if she says N-word? She's more of an N-word than you, LOL. That guy does not deserve a fucking phone. No, <laughs> no. And how the fuck is Pokemon... No BM, but um, how do you guys deserve a platform if you're also lying on it? I'm not saying that you don't. I'm just saying, do you deserve a phone then? Because you spewed like you spewed like three different lies about me in six minutes and forty five seconds. So I'm about to pull a teacher on you. Give me the phone. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> Come on, hand it over. I won't look through it. Don't worry. More of a nigga than fucking Gideon. I, don't, I, I just don't no, understand. No, I, I see it. Come on, man. That really? guy must be fucking colorblind. Yeah. Like, holy shit. And then from our YouTube video last night, I'm not even a Poke fan, but this video is biased as hell. It's ridiculous. She's also Moroccan. It is biased. You got me there until she's also Moroccan, guys. Where, where did she get you there? That was. Come okay, here's the thing. Uh, especially when it comes to words and stuff, I personally don't end. Like, I don't use the N-word even with an A. I don't think I ever used it with an E-R because that's, like, inherently racist. I just wasn't properly educated back then, as was, like, the majority of people that I think said it with an A. But it's, like, different people, especially if you're a person of color, like, you will have different opinions on what is okay or what isn't, whether you accept someone's apology or don't. That's on every individual to decide. So I don't know why they're running around telling people like, this is how you should feel or this is how you should not feel. It's like people can have an opinion. They can accept my apology and they can not. That's, that's okay. Either one. Completely wrong. Yeah, yeah. We, I don't think we were biased at all in that bit last. Like, I, yeah, I, I'm glad some of you guys are truing because in my real life, that's the majority of the experience that I've had. Some people are like, oh yeah, I don't care who says this or if you are of this culture, you can say this or you can do that or you can whatever. Like these things can vary by people. So it's just weird that they're shitting on people's opinions. When it's like, why don't you at least get your facts straight? Because an opinion is one thing, but at least don't literally get your facts completely wrong, like completely wrong. Completely. This video. We were literally just showing someone using the animal. <coughs> I kind of feel bad for the red shirt guy because he gives me vibes like he makes shit up just to be accepted by his friends. Doesn't make it okay though. He gives me vibes like he just wants this video to get views, which I understand, but I hope this can be a learning lesson to them that do you want to be known for like. Do you want to get to the point where you, where you are as credible as Drama Alert, which is not very? Like, do you want people to know you as the platform that doesn't actually say things properly? And where they <laughs> can decide if that's wrong or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, maybe she could have had an argument. Because, like, like she, you guys are bringing it up for no reason. You guys are all on GD on side. But, like, bro, you can't just say she's Moroccan. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It comes from the percentage of black on you, <laughs> not the country. No, it's Ancestry.com. <laughs> you can take a DNA test. It's not African. It's specifically black people. It's not yeah, Africans. Yeah. It's like, I, like, no, white people didn't call Africans nigga. They called black people yeah. nigga. It's like, what the hell? And then also on our TikTok, Riley Reed left a comment. Gideon is a dub. Let's go. Hey, Riley, if you ever want to come on and sit on my face, let me Oh my god, I think a little puke came up. Did you guys hear that burp? That could have been puke, bro. For starters, Riley Reed. That sucks we could have been homies. Like, that's the saddest part about all this. It's like, 
We could have been friends and you probably would have gotten way more clout from just being my friend. But now you've taken the dark road. <laughs> why do you, why you gotta go do that? Oh, it's not her? Okay, nice. Okay, that's nice. There was like a, wasn't there a verified mark? Why is it verified? It's a fake account that's verified? Oh. Huh? Sorry. The, what That guy's comment actually made me burp twice, and I never, ever burp. Like, I almost never audibly burp. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways. And then also on our TikTok, Riley Reed left a comment. Gideon is a dough. All right, so guys, that's what we covered today. We got a go. Hey, Riley, if you ever want to come on and sit on my face. You are the people that you're trying to make fun of. The people who only view women as sexual objects and even think that they would look in your general direction if you were in the same perimeter. Like, weird. He said, if you ever want to... Maybe I should call her up and be like, hey, would you like to? What do you think she would say? We could do that. I think I know someone who knows her. I'll just have her on the stream. Hey, so this guy was wondering if... <laughs> I don't know, man. Personally disgusted breathing the same air as these three degenerates. That man had looks empty. Triple empty, bro. Facts don't care about your feelings. Uh, I kind of feel bad for the... Oh, um, just that because you... Thank you. So sorry getting all this unnecessary hate. Such is life. Actually, I'm looking at the silver lining, which is I think it helps me bond with people who also really don't claim this energy, which is exactly who I'd want in my community anyways. So I like that.